this is part two of my Windows 8 tutorials and um, today I'm just gonna go over a few things that I've uh, missed in my uh, first tutorial and um, the first thing is when you go and um, you take your cursor and you put it to the bottom of the screen you see the, the thing for the start menu um, come up there now if you right click on that you get um, a bunch of options that were originally um, in the old start menu and some of these things weren't in the start menu here it'll um you'll get access to your um, power options, programs and features, um, task manager, control panel, uh, Windows Explorer, search, and you can even run something. And um, once you do get here on the start screen, um, you guys could like right click on an app. And uh, by doing so, uh, you get options down here, and um, you know everything has different options. Um, here, you could make that um, that tile smaller or larger, and um, you could also uninstall on uh, a Metro application through here just by doing that. So it's really simple to uninstall an application here. All you do is just right click on it, click uninstall, and it literally takes one second and the program is completely off your computer. Another thing that I um, did forget to show you guys is I did show you guys the new search that is over here, but I did not have the chance to show you guys um, the search here in um, Windows Explorer. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. In fact, it is exactly the same thing from Windows 7 and I mean if you wanna if you wanna type it, something in there um, you know it's just it's, it's quick just like the old one there you go you can see it, it uh, was able to retrieve those songs uh, relatively quickly uh, way better than the search in Windows XP of course and another thing that you guys should know is uh, when you get your Windows 8 computer um, by default, your time zone will most likely not be correct. So you're going to want to go down here, change date and time settings, and um, you make sure that uh, your time zone is um, is correct. Um, Eastern, and um, I think by default, it's, uh, it's Western time. And um, not everyone is in Western time. In fact, not everyone is in the U.S. So you're going to want to make sure that that's correct so your um, your time is all set. And you could just sync it through the Internet here, which is great, which will make your clock very accurate. Um, another thing that you guys should know about Windows 8 is there's, there's many, many shortcuts if you're using a keyboard and a mouse. And most people, I think, will be using a keyboard and mouse. And, um, you know, I've had the chance to use Windows 8 on a tablet, on a laptop, and on a PC. And, um, honestly, a lot of people make fun of Windows 8 because they don't think it works well on, on a mouse and keyboard. And, um, that's simply not true. If anything, I prefer the mouse and keyboard experience better than a touchscreen. I've used it on a touchscreen. Eh, you could get things done a lot quicker with a mouse than you would with um, a touch device and that's just that's just a fact I've I've been able to use a touch device for quite a while on Windows 8 and I've been using it on a mouse and keyboard for a while and a mouse and keyboard is much more productive than using a touch screen and uh, the, the Windows 8 does have many um, many new uh, key shortcuts I'm just gonna show you a few you you click um, the Windows key it'll open up the start menu um, because you know back when the start menu was there the windows key always opened up the start menu and um, th that's a cool thing if you click control and use the wheel on your mouse you could zoom in and out of um, your start screen here and if you're on a tablet all you do is you know you pinch to zoom and um, it'll do the same exact thing and when you um when you do that um you could right click on these and you could name each group which is very useful as you can see I, I've named a few of them it's a great way to organize all your apps another great part of uh, Windows Explorer 
is uh, that there is ISO mounting. So if you have an ISO file right here, all you do is just click on the, the file and um, you click manage up here in the ribbon and you could mount it straight from Windows Explorer or you could burn it onto a disk. Um, I find that very useful. It, it has always been annoying having to download um, other software just so you could um, mount mount uh, ISO files. And I just think that it's really great that Microsoft has included this in the operating system. That just makes one last thing I have to download to my computer. Which is really great. Now I'll see you guys in my next video which will be um, a video on our uh, holiday shopping guide. We do those every year and um, Windows 8 is definitely going to be on that list along with the Microsoft Surface tablet. And that's about it. And don't forget to go to legendaryreviews.com for game reviews, downloads, and much, much more.